wanna touch me, I don't like to play Don't take this shit personal, I'm gonna lie today You see my name everywhere, I think it's safe to say Don't come at me wrong, you yeah, got before I make this, yeah You don't wanna touch me, I don't like to play Don't take this shit personal, I'm gonna lie today You see my name everywhere, I think it's safe to say What's going on guys, Blackheart Kaz back with another Baltimore State Dynasty video. And in this video, we're taking on my favorite college team, the Florida State Seminoles. Battle of Undefeateds, number four versus number five. And one thing that I haven't really mentioned over the past few seasons is we're now on a 27 game winning streak. We have not lost since year three when we played number one, well, number one at that time, Washington. And I think we face our biggest test in that time against Florida State. As you can see, Josh Seymour still at the top of the Heisman watch. But speaking of running backs, we did pick up a running back in recruiting. My guy, Colin Manor. Shout out to you, Colin. But anyways, we're taking on Florida State. And Kirk Kirkstreet is actually picking us to win this game. But either way, it should be a very close matchup. Obviously, Florida State, again, is my favorite team. And Jesse Garner, of course, not playing in this one with hip bursitis. So Fred Kane will get his first career start in this one. As you can see, both of us are undefeated. This is actually our first ACC game as well. So that's another big first for Baltimore State. Anyways, let's get into the game action. Florida State going to start off with the ball. Here's a handoff to Wallace up the middle. And Maurice Wallace with a 10-yard gain in the first down in the first play. Next play, it's a first and 10. James Blackman gonna drop back. Plenty of time to throw, just gonna dump it off to Wallace. Nobody covering it short for Baltimore State as Wallace gets the first down on a 12 yard gain. Now first and 10, Blackman looking, he's just gonna throw this one away. Starting to feel the pressure there. Now second and 10, Blackman gonna drop back, looking, and he's gonna air it out to the right side, but it's gonna be intercepted. Tony Cox, the true freshman, with the interception. And once he's a starting quarterback, he's definitely going to have a great career for Baltimore State. Anyways, our ball now. And here's Seymour. Only going to pick up a yard in the first play from scrimmage for Baltimore State. Now a second and nine. Fred Cannon, of course, getting this first start. Going to pitch it out to Seymour on the option. Seymour only going to pick up four. Now a third and five. We're just going to run the counter. And Seymour is going to get dropped for a two-yard loss. As we go three and out to start the game. Now FSU ball again. Here's Blackman over the middle. That one should have been picked off by Antonio Coleman, but he couldn't hold on to it. Now second and ten. A little screen action to Wallace, but it is shut down. Evan Woods able to drop him for a four-yard loss. Now third and 14 for Florida State. Blackman going to throw it to Jordan, but Jordan can't hold on to it. He had a big step over Pride. Jake Pride just been getting burnt all season. So Florida State goes three and out. Now the Seminoles punt it off to Bobby Rodriguez. And Rodriguez is not a guy you want to punt to for this very reason. He's going to spin up, getting past the Florida State 40. And now Baltimore State with great field position to start their second drive of the game. Here's a first and 10. Seymour with a nice little spin move. He's going to pick up nine on the play. Now second and one. Brian in motion. And Kane going to drop back looking. He's going to throw over the middle. Finds Josh Bryant. Brian up to the 21 yard line and now Baltimore State threatening here's the first and 10 counter to Seymour Seymour gonna run into the offensive lineman there only gains a yard in the play could have been a whole lot worse now second and nine Kane's just gonna dump it off to Todd Renner Renner goes nowhere however this Florida State defense is very imposing and now third and nine Kane gonna roll out to his right under pressure pump face he tries to throw it to Bryant but nearly picked off and Baltimore State will have to settle for a field goal from Roger Callaway. And the true freshman splits the uprights. So Baltimore State takes an early 3-0 lead. And I don't know how this was not a fumble. That makes no sense to me at all. CJ McCray with a good play there, however. And a second and 10, Wallace goes nowhere. Another good stop for Baltimore State. Now a third and 10, Blackman trying to keep the drive alive and a nice little floater there and Coleman gets his hands on it but it's not an interception couldn't get his foot down but regardless Florida State goes three and out and next play for Baltimore State Seymour brought down in the backfield for a four yard loss and a second and four Seymour again gets the carry this time he gets past midfield picks up 10 yards on the play now third and five here's Kane under pressure gonna dump it off to Renner and Renner actually is going to get the first down via forward progress there. Looks like he was stopped short, but he did get the first. Now, second and ten. 
Kane goes down for the sack. Four yard loss. That's going to break up a third and 14. And Kane then throws this one over the middle. He finds Bobby Rodriguez. Not just a good return, man. Also pretty useful on offense. Gets 24 yards and a first down there. Now, first and 10. Seymour going to get inside the red zone on an 11 yard carry. New set of downs. Now, first and 10. Kane off the play fake. He's going to dump it off to Renner, who picks up two yards. And that's going to end the first quarter. Baltimore State up 3 0. Now, second and eight. First play of the second quarter, Fred Kane on the read option, going to pick up the touchdown. Nine yards out, and Baltimore State with a 10-0 lead over Florida State in this one. And a first and 10, nice little screen to Adam Gilmore, picks up three yards, then a second and seven, and Wallace only going to gain a yard there. Now third and six, and Blackman just abruptly throws it away as soon as he takes the snap. He's three for 10 so far in this game, not going very well. FSU goes three and out again. Seymour dropped for a loss on first down. In the second and 11, Kane gonna take it himself on the speed option, picking up seven yards, and then that's gonna bring up a third and four. Kane looking, throws to the right side, nearly intercepted by Ontario Wilson. So Baltimore State goes three and out. Now Florida State football. Blackman gonna dump it off to Clayton, and Clayton takes a big shot. But he's able to hold on to the football for a nine yard gain. In the second and one, here's Wallace. Wallace is going to get the first down up to the Florida State 40, a six yard gain. New set of downs now, first and 10. Another handoff to Wallace. Wallace breaks into the open field, able to get into Baltimore State territory. 18 yard gain, putting Florida State in pretty good position now, first and 10. Another handoff to Wallace. And this time, Cedric Mosier Dalton gets away with a face mask there. A no gain there. Now a second and ten. Hand off to Ginn this time. And Ginn up the middle. He's going to fight his way for the first down. Marcus Ginn with a 12-yard gain. And Florida State creeping into field goal range now. Here's Wallace up the middle again. Getting into the open field. Jake Pride can't get to him. Mosier Dalton gets to him way too late. And Florida State's now on the board after a big touchdown run. With Kegler, Collier, and Patrick being gone now, like it just looks like our run defense has been a lot worse this year so far. Anyways, Baltimore State football now. It's a first and ten. Seymour spinning his way to an eight-yard gain now, a second and two. Another counter. Seymour going to get the first down right up the middle for four yards. And a new set of downs. First and ten. Kane going to run the option. Going to take it himself up the middle. Looks like FSU was going to blow that up for a loss, but Kane does a good job of taking what the defense gives him. And second and eight, here's Rodriguez on the catch. Turns a small gain into a pretty big gain into FSU territory. A 15-yard gain in the play. And now he has three receptions. And there's Seymour on the counter. Gets nowhere this time. Now a second and ten, under three minutes to go. Kane going to roll to his right. I mean, at this point, you just got to run this one. Tries to spin, but to no avail. But he does pick up seven on the play. Now third and two. Kane going to throw to a wide open Josh Bryant. Bryant up inside the 25-yard line. And Baltimore State trying to get into the end zone before the end of the half as Kane able to find Renner over the left side for a 16-yard gain. Now they're inside the 10. First and goal, Kane getting a roll to his right. Looking for somebody open. Tries to force one. There's Starks, but Starks can't hold on to it. And now it's going to be second and goal. Another play fake. Kane going to roll to his right. And he's going to try to run it himself, but he's going to cough the football up. It's picked up by Larson. And Larson is actually going to get a pretty good return on this one. He might take this to the house, but Joey Veltung not going to allow him to. Larson up to the 40-yard line. So now Florida State has a chance to tie the ball game or take the lead. And a nice little throw to Kevin O'Connor for a 12-yard gain. Now first and 10, Florida State and Baltimore State territory. And Jake Pride just gets burned again. Demarcus Jordan makes up for the earlier drop with a big 48-yard touchdown catch. I mean, Pride has just been bad this year so far. But anyways, Florida State with a 14-10 lead with just over a minute to go. And Bobby Rodriguez is going to take this one up the left side, up to the 45-yard line. A great return there. Now uh, Baltimore State could possibly make up for giving up that big play here as Kane over the middle to Renner for the first down and 11-yard gain there. Now uh, first and 10. Kane on the read option, going to take it up the right side. And he's going to get the first down inside the 35 of Florida State. Under a minute to go now, first and 10. Kane under pressure, tries to throw it away, but he's going to be brought down for a 16-yard loss. So now it's a second and 26. Kane going to throw over the middle, nearly intercepted, probably should have been intercepted there. But it falls to the ground now, a third and 26. Kane trying to throw it deep, and this time he will get intercepted by Wilson. 
I mean, Kane was just trying to do something, but obviously that's something he did wasn't very good as he gets stiff on there. FSU into Baltimore State territory. He's trying to get a field goal before the end of the half. First and 10, here's Blackman. Gonna throw to the left side and Pride gets burned again. This time Adam Gilmore burning him. 47 yards and now hand off to Bradley. But we try to strip the ball, but we stop him short anyways. In a second and goal, Blackman is gonna take it himself up the middle for the sneak. And now Florida State just like that up 21 to 10. And that's what turnovers really do to you. I mean, they can completely turn the course of a game around just like that. But here's Rodriguez trying to make a big play himself. And he's going to be brought down at the 32-yard line. Wouldn't have counted anyways because of a clipping call. But it was a good effort to at least try to get Baltimore State on the board before the half. But Florida State up 21-10 to over Baltimore State. So now second half action, Baltimore State going to start with the ball. First and 10, Kane on the option, only picks up three on the play. Now second and seven, a little counter play to Seymour. And Seymour going to be stopped just shy of the first down marker. Now a third and two, and another handoff to Seymour up the middle. And this time he's going to escape into the open field, picking up 18. And now Baltimore State in Florida State territory. First and 10, another handoff to Seymour. He picks up four. As he's definitely getting a lot of carries in this one. Rodriguez in the game now. Kane over the middle. He probably should have been intercepted right there. Very irresponsible throw. Now a third and six. Kane going to try to scramble, and he does successfully. He gets the first down, picking up eight yards. And now Baltimore State trying to get back into this one. Kane going to throw over the middle, finds Starks, but Starks can't hold on to it. Incomplete now. A second and ten. Kane drops back. Looking over the middle, and a great catch by Ricky Lee Perry Paul if he could actually hold on to it, you know. But he's hitting this incomplete now. Third and ten. And Kane gonna find a wide open Josh Bryant. Bryant up to the 14 yard line on the 24 yard gain. Now first and ten. Kane gonna roll to his left. He's gonna throw this one incomplete looking for Joey Velton. But Velton just didn't reach out for it. Then a second and ten. Seymour brought down for a loss, but it's gonna be a face mask call against Florida State. So now Baltimore State inside the 10. First and goal. Kane tries to get it to runner. It's incomplete, though. Now second and goal. Kane got to keep it himself. Trying to get his second rushing touchdown of the game. But he only gains four yards on the play now. Third and goal. Kane drops back. Throws over the middle, and he finds Carlos Starks for the touchdown. Starks upended on that play, however. I mean, he got smacked around. It's kind of our version of the helicopter play, in all honesty. But he holds on to it. Baltimore State going to go for two to make this a three-point game. Kane rolls out to the right, throws to nobody in particular, and it's incomplete. So 21-16, it remains. Uh, first and 10, Wallace only going to gain a yard on first down. Second and nine, Wallace loses a yard, loses three actually there. Great play by CJ McCray. Now a third and 12, Blackman looking to the left side. Pride got burned again, but this time it's overthrown. And Baltimore State gets the football back as we try... To get the lead back, Seymour going to pick up four yards on the play. Now, second and six. Draw play to Seymour this time. He's going to get the first down into Florida State territory again. And honestly, the offense has played pretty well for the most part outside of the two picks by Kane. Well, the pick and the fumble, you know what I mean. Kane going to get sacked for a 12-yard loss. Kane actually got hurt in this play. So, Brad Brown, the starting free safety, formerly a quarterback, comes into the game. Throws it to Carlos Starks, but Starks drops it. So now it's going to be third and 22. We're just going to throw a simple screenplay, but Seymour goes nowhere, losing two in the play. And Kane being hurt really derailed this drive. So now Florida State football, Wallace on the carry. He's going to pick up some yards, runs over a few defenders, gets the first down, an 11-yard gain on that one. Now first and 10, Blackman looking left side, and he's going to be intercepted by David Francis, the nickelback, the redshirt senior, and he's going to get a big return on this one. Up to the Florida State 34, a great interception, a very timely pick there. As Fred Kane back in the game now, he's going to throw over the middle to the runner who's having a pretty good day, 15 yards on the play, and that's going to bring up a new set of downs. First and 10, FSU with the pressure, they get to Kane as he throws it, so incomplete now, second and 10. Seymour up the middle, going to pick up five, and now a third and five. Another handoff to Seymour, getting great blocking there, but he's going to be stopped just shy of the first down marker. But Baltimore State going to go for it on fourth and one. And who else are we going to give it to? We're going to give it to Hobie. Zach Hobart with a two-yard gain for the first down. 
So now first and goal inside the 10, hand off to Seymour. Seymour with the spin move, trying to dodge the defender. That's his signature spin move there. But he stopped short now, second and goal. Rodriguez in the game now. He's gonna get to the edge and get into the end zone to give Baltimore State the lead back. It's 22 to 21. You know what's coming next, folks. We're going for two. Trying to make this a three-point ball game. Kane on the play fake. He's going to throw over the middle, and he's going to find Carlos Sarks in the back of the end zone. So now it's 24 to 21. And here's a hand off to Wallace. Wallace able to gain seven yards on the play. And that will end the third quarter. So now the fourth quarter, this has been a very competitive ball game so far. But Jordan goes nowhere on the end around. Only loses a yard there. CJ McCray with another big play. Now third and one. Wallace up the middle. Gets the first down. And gains 11 yards. Wallace has had a pretty good game so far up to this point. And then Blackman on the read option goes nowhere. Shut down completely by Derek Wade. Now second and 13. Hand off to Wallace. Wallace gets outside plenty of room. And Sender is able to make the stop. But not before he gets into Baltimore State territory. So now first and 10. Blackman on the fake. That should have been intercepted by Sender. But instead he just swats it down. Anyways now second and 10. Blackman over the middle finds Jordan. Jordan gonna get the first down there. As Florida State just moving the ball with ease on this drive. Now first and ten screen pass to Jordan. And Jordan gonna gain seven on the play. Now a second and three. And Blackman gonna hand it off to Wallace. But Wallace shut down in the backfield. Patrick Richardson with a big play there. Wallace loses a yard. Now a third and five. Here's Blackman looking. Looking, he's going to throw to the left side, finds an open gray, gray past the 10-yard line. And now FSU can at least get a field goal in this drive to tie it up. But Blackman on the draw play, going to break a tackle, and he's brought down at about the 5-yard line. That's going to bring up a second and goal. And Florida State going to move on this one, so they're going to lose 5 yards. So that's going to make it a second and goal from about the 10-yard line now. Hand off to Wallace up the middle. Mosier Dalton able to get first contact, but Wallace still picks up about four yards. Now third and goal, Blackman looking. Looking, throws into the back of the end zone. Incomplete. So FSU is just going to take the three to tie it up. And it splits the uprights, a chip shot field goal, and it's 24 all midway through the last quarter of the game. Rodriguez with another big return. Up to the 40, in the Florida State territory. Nice little spin move there. He's going to be pushed out at the Florida State 40. So that's definitely the return FSU needed. And here you see Seymour on first and 10. Nice little spin move by Seymour. Gets him the first down. Like, he really loves that spin move, honestly. You can't really blame him either. Uh, first and 10. Kane throws this one over the middle. And a great catch by Carlos Starks. And Starks going to be tackled into the end zone for the touchdown. I mean, that was just an amazing play there, but however, it would be challenged. And you're going to see on the replay, it looks like his butt hits the ground before he gets into the end zone. It was a really close one. It would have been a great touchdown had he actually gotten in there. But he does secure the ball, but he's just short of the end zone. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. And sure enough, the call is reversed. So now, first and goal from the one. Here's Kane over the middle, incomplete. Trying to force it into Starks, just doesn't work out. Now second and goal, Caden going to roll to his right side, throws this one away. Now a third and goal, we're going to run a little end around the Starks. Starks tries to get into the end zone, but he's going to be stopped short. Now a fourth and goal, we're actually going to go for it. I know a lot of people are going to question me for this play call. I just wanted to reward Starks, I guess. And Caden nearly intercepted, but it falls down as the turnover on downs. So FSU gets possession. And Williams going to pick up two yards on the play. Now, second and nine. Hand off to Wallace, and Lee brings him down for no gain. We use our second timeout of the half. And then Bradley nearly gets the first down here, but picks up six yards. And we use our final timeout, so it's 24 all. We have no timeouts remaining. But then Rodriguez with another big return. So pretty much all we have to do at this point, you would think, is we're up to the 31-yard line. All you have to do is just run the ball, waste time, get Holloway set up for a game-winning field goal. Seymour picks up about two yards, and second and eight. Here's Kane on the play action. He gets blown up in the backfield, fumbles the football. There's Larson to pick it up. And 
honestly, from that moment, I just regretted running that play action there. But now Florida State football, first and 10. Blackman going to throw this one away. Now a second and 10. Here's Blackman looking to the left side. Finds O'Connor. O'Connor going to be stopped short of the first down marker. So all we got to do is just make a stop here. They run a screen pass. Lee can't make the tackle. I mean, that's a tackle he usually makes. Now everybody's just going for the strip, and they can't get him down. He gets out of bounds. 23 seconds to go. FSU just about in field goal range. And then Blackman going to throw right here. Bryant Brown could have made a game-saving interception there. But instead, it hits the turf. Now second and 10. A little screen pass to Wallace. And Wallace going to get inside. Nobody can make a tackle before the first down marker. He gets the first down. Florida State calls a timeout. And then they decide to do something really questionable. Throw it, and it's nearly intercepted by Brown again. That's two times he could have saved the game there. But instead, Florida State going to kick a field goal. It's going to split the uprights. We had no timeouts to ice the kick or anything. Now, three seconds to go. Last chance for Baltimore State to keep the win streak alive. Kane going to throw it deep, but it's going to fall to the ground incomplete. And Baltimore State's 27-game win streak comes to an end. 27 to 24 your final and I promise you guys I was not trying to throw this game just because Florida State's my favorite team I was really trying to win this one keep the win streak alive keep our ACC championship game hopes alive keep our national championship hopes alive obviously but they all take a huge hit right here and honestly I mean I just felt really dumb I made a dumb like I made a dumb decision not trying to just run into the end zone on that drive where we turned it over at the one yard line. I mean, obviously you have the best running back in the league. I mean, I pretty much pulled a Pete Carroll. I'll, I'll admit it, y'all. I pulled a Pete Carroll and I apologize for you for that, honestly. I mean, no one would really criticize me if I made it there, but I mean, still, you have the best running back in the nation in your backfield and you just, you just decide not to run it. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking there. I just really wanted to give Starks a touchdown, I guess, but at the cost of the game, it definitely wasn't worth it, but at the end of the day, I want all the smoke in the comment section. Just tell me how much of an idiot I am for the play calling on that goal line stand for Florida State. It was just mainly really bad play calling on my end, and I'll get better from here. It is what it is. I mean, congratulations to Florida State. I mean, we're not completely out of anything, whether it's the ACC championship game or the national championship game. I mean, we... You gotta keep moving forward straight up I mean it's easy to dwell on like having one bad performance but I mean like you just can't dwell on it I guess I mean you just gotta keep moving forward we got North Carolina next week they're also ranked they're also a pretty damn good team so we don't really have time to like dwell on like playing badly this in this one but anyways thank you guys for watching this video make sure you hit that like button make sure you flame me up in the comment section for that bad play calling and you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day night and whenever you're watching this and I'm out of here. Deuces. I just been ready to take off. Where did my turn on the wrong way? Never be turning around. Never be turning around. Hey, never be slowing it down.